What is going on, Raider Nation? We're talking about the Las Vegas Raiders versus the Buffalo Bills for this coming matchup of tomorrow, I believe in the morning. Um, this is hands down probably going to be the most cross the board. Everybody's going to pick the Buffalo Bills. Now, Raider fans, we do know that we're not going to win every game, especially with the kind of a team like this. This season, we're not going to go undefeated. So if it one game, if there's one game that I think that we would lose and who we would lose to is the Bills. But that doesn't mean we can't come out with a surprise and we, we could come out with a, with a win because there is still a chance. We play the game even though on paper we should lose. That may not be the case. We all know that the Raiders tend to play at the level of whoever they're playing against. They're going to be playing by playing a under 500 team and play, even though their talent and their play all year has been so good, they can play that under 500 team and be comp and play at their level, which makes no sense. That's happened a lot over the years, especially with the Derek Carr led team, uh, John Gruden, um, <clears throat> Jack Del Rio sometimes. So I'm thinking that uh, this could be, it could be the flip side too. We could play at an elite level. We've done that against KC last year, a couple of years already, where we've matched KC's energy, uh, productivity. We were there. We were close to wins against the Super Bowl winning team. But Raiders tend to play to the other opponent's level. I think we could play to the Buffalo Bills level, not the one we saw in week one, but the team that supposedly was supposed to come out and just kill it with uh, Josh Allen and Stefan Diggs. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, we, we could come out with the win, but there's going to be keys to this Raider victory, and that's going to be absolutely the offensive line. The offensive line has to continue to do good. The first game was fantastic. Uh, we did, Jimmy did get hit a couple times. One of them was a roughing of the passer. It was a very scary moment. Uh, he, the, he was listed as with his ankle, uh, a little bit questionable, but I think he's fine. But that's a scary thing because we know Jimmy's injury history. So this is only week two and our, we're already getting little bumps like that going along the way. So I'm afraid that Jimmy might not play the whole season. And I think we kind of, all Raider fans are expecting him not to play the whole season. But if we do go on a run with him playing and winning some games, as long as he, if we have a chance to make the playoffs, we make the playoffs with him as quarterback. I love uh, O'Connor, but he's not ready. He's not ready, or maybe he is, I don't know. But right now I just want to see what Jimmy can do. The problem is also we don't have Jacoby Myers. So one of our big threats, uh, one of what, the guy who just tore it up last game. And I said that I really like this pickup. The one Patriot that I like coming over to the Raiders was Jacoby Myers. He's going to be out, you know, concussion protocol. Uh, we care for the man's health. So he will be out this game. That means, does that mean Hunter Renfro gets more touches? The keys to winning this game is Josh McDaniel, stop being an asshole. Or Jimmy G, I don't know what, I think it's Josh, mostly Josh McDaniels. You need to get Hunter Renfro in most of this game. You need to look, have plays designed for him. There are screen passes that should be designed for him. I think Josh McDaniels is mad at Hunter Renfro last year for fumbling the ball. He number, he fumbled twice, I believe, in that game where he got hit and got concussed. This, that, this guy is a Pro Bowl level talent. I'm so sick of him not being used to efficiency. This is our Je Julian Edelman. This is our guy. This is third and Renfro. This is a guy you can rely on who can juke out defenders. Yes, does he too do too much sometimes? Yes, but this guy is a capable wide receiver, one of the best wide receivers on the roster, yet he had nothing last game, which I kind of am not shocked because of the whole Josh McDaniels thing and also Jacoby Myers being the, the other guy to really step it up. Jacoby Myers is out. We got Devontae Adams, luckily, playing this game. We need Hunter Renfro in the game plan. That is one of the keys to the victory of the Raiders against the Buffalo Bills is getting these first downs, wasting time. Offensive line needs to hold up when it needs to hold up for Jimmy to pass. Jimmy needs to pass more than 30 yards. Tied, tried to hit a deep shot with Devontae. We know Devontae does get those deep shots sometimes. 
amazing route runner. He could even get left wide open uh, by killing his event defender. Second, Hunter Renfro does need to be in a game plan. We need those first downs. Hunter is the guy to get him or our tight end, Mayer. Um, <clears throat> we drafted him. Let's see what he could do. Third is the running game. I said time, efficiency, game clock management. Josh Jacobs needs to be the beast this game. He needs to be the one that gets the rock and gets over 100 yards. He needs over 100 yards, touchdown, two touchdowns. He needs to have a game. He needs the ball out. Uh, I think the Raiders running game will pick up this time around. I don't think the Buffalo Bills will stop Josh Jacobs. I think Josh Jacobs, if he is able to uh, get started early, will start early and really gain a lot of yards throughout the whole game. Over 100, I'm predicting one touchdown. I would like two, but I'm going to say one touchdown. I think the, the run game must be established this game. Now, the weakness of the Raiders. It's the defense, guys. It's always the defense. It continues to be the defense. The coverage is god-awful. Looking at film tape, though, last game, the linebackers didn't do too bad. Diablo did good. Uh, this 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 linebacker crew is actually pretty impressive. They are uh, doing a lot of good things. It's just the coverage. When a quarterback gets that amount of time, the problem with the Raiders is they do... <laughs> they do give up so many big plays, so much chunks, just because the defensive line pressure doesn't get there right away. The defensive line is not going to get there right away all the time. The problem is Mad Max is getting off super early. We have seen the uh, the tapes. Wilson is just slow off the get-go. If that was his first game, butterflies are out. Let's see how he does his second game. He needs to step it up for the Raiders to compete and to ultimately win this game. Uh, those are the key elements of winning the game. The, like I said, the only thing that I'm concerned of is the defense. You're going against Stefan Diggs, and I don't care if Josh Allen did have so many turn turnovers last game. This is still Josh Allen. And what is he going to kill you? What do we struggle on with most of the time? Running quarterbacks. Russell Wilson did his thing. He is not as He's not as young. He's not, I say, as talented as Josh Allen right now. So with Josh Allen, this is gonna have he's gonna have a field day. So I hope Patrick Graham has a defense of plan to really contain Josh Allen. The problem is if Josh Allen gets that much time, he gets even though he's making a lot of mistakes on that first game. The problem with the Raiders, they don't capitalize on those mistakes. They don't get a lot of turnovers. I'm hoping the vets that we signed, like Peters could really do something and actually get turnovers. There was a one turnover last game that we should have got, but because of penalties, that's another key of the game. Raiders have to cut down their penalties. The problem is it's the Raiders. It doesn't even matter if it wasn't even a legit penalty. The rest will throw that flag every single time. So you got to understand with the Raiders, they have to play flawless football, almost flawless football. They played good football for week one, but it was absolutely not flawless. Week two has to be almost 100% of their A game. If not, Buffalo is going to run all over us. Buffalo on paper should kick our ass, but the Raiders, their offense, I'm really digging. I'm really liking, even without Jacoby Myers. I think Jimmy, if he stays healthy in this game, the line does what they need to do. I think we're going to have a big game from Josh Jacobs, an efficient game for Jimmy. I just need him to do clock management. I need us to go at war, a shootout. I really do believe a shootout is going to happen if we want to win. The defense, I just don't feel as confident. There is key elements for us to win because of the defense, but because of the defense, I still think we need the offense to really put up some points. We need at least 34 and above. That's how I view things. That's how I think we're going to get the job done. I hope the Raiders do pull out this win. I will realistically say I don't think with that defense, with the Buffalo wanting revenge, and or not necessarily revenge, but really wanting to showcase the whole wide world that they that week one was a fluke. Maybe it wasn't, though. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe Buffalo is just not as good as everybody think they are. thinks they are. They're definitely better than... The, I just need this defense to really, really step it up. The defense, defense, defense. We could steal a win. I think this would be a steal of a win. I think this would be great momentum going forward. Uh, the next matches up are 
matchups are going to be a really i think we could beat the chargers i really do think we could beat the chargers at sofi we've come close every single year beating them at their own home game so i think we can go on a roll uh with the upcoming games that are coming up but we have to start with the buffalo bills is it most likely that we'll lose if we're realistic if we're a betting man and we're betting the whole family the whole house we would probably say this one would go to buffalo but we move on to the next one but knowing the key elements and key things to win, we could still do it. It's a, it's a, I don't even say it's a low, low chance. It's just a lower chance than usual when we go into a game because it is the Buffalo Bills. But there is still absolutely a chance to really upset Buffalo and come out with that win. So I will be tuning into the game, letting you know my thoughts after the game. Hopefully the Raiders don't make blunders, stupid mistakes. I'm going to say if they do lose this game, it's going to be because of the mistakes, missed opportunities. But if we do win this game, I'm going to say it's because of clock management, putting up points, and Josh Jacobs going at it. Josh Jacobs having the best game of his career, or one of the best games, I should say. And Max Crosby, Crosby maybe getting a couple more sacks than just one. So thank you guys for listening. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We'll really appreciate it. Like the video if you like it, and comment below. Let me hear you about what you guys think do you guys think that the raiders are going to just run away with it or you think it's going to be a close game i'm dan and make it until we talk next time raiders i'll see you guys later